Hello everyone, Dusty here with another tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to link Zoom and Google Calendar. So when you create a new Google Calendar event like you see here, there's going to be a new option here under video conferencing that allows you to select Zoom meeting in a drop down and then it will automatically populate the meeting ID, password, passcode and gives a link for joining instructions for those people who may not or have, have not used Zoom yet. So the beauty of this is once you send this and share this with your guests that need to attend this meeting, the Zoom meeting, it will automatically have a link to click that will open up Zoom like it normally would as if you sent them the link individually or manually without doing it through Google Calendar. So the first thing that you need to do is go ahead and hop over to uh, the gsuite.google.com marketplace. I will link this in the description of this video so you know exactly where this is. When you get here, uh, you'll be on the home page here. Uh, again, some of the top rated ones here probably will show Zoom, but if it doesn't, go to search apps and then type in Zoom. Once you've typed in Zoom, the first one there that says Zoom for G Suite, click on that one. As you can see here, I already have it installed, but what you want to do is go ahead and click on that box there, open up Zoom for G Suite, and then what you're going to see here is the overview of what the app does, basically what I just showed you. And then you'll see a big blue install button right here. Click on that install button. You'll have to authorize. Also give G Suite the ability to connect to your Zoom account. So you will need to log into both your Gmail and your Zoom account uh, to authorize and to allow them to kind of work together. And then once you've authorized it and you've logged into your Gmail account, I want you to go ahead and hop on over to Google Calendar. All right, now that we're in Google Calendar, I want you to go and create a new event. So just click anywhere on a new day and then go down to where you see more options. Now you can do this in this little snapshot view here, uh, but I wanna go ahead and show you under more options what you can do. Go ahead and give the event a title. Once you've done that, you will see here that you can select whether you want the event to be all day or if you want it to be a specific time. So go ahead and give your event a time frame if that's what you want to do. And then here under add video conferencing, if you select the drop down menu here, you'll see two options. You'll see Google Meet or you'll see Zoom Meeting. But remember, all of the Zoom parameters will still be in effect. So if you only have a free version of the account, those limitations are applied here as well. So go ahead and click on the Zoom meeting here in the drop down menu. It will go ahead and make sure that you're logged in. Now, when you do this for the first time, it may ask you to log in to Zoom here uh, where it says log in. Just click the log in button, log into your Zoom account. Uh, again, it's made me do it once, but the other time it didn't. So I'm not sure on your end which one you'll go through. And then once you've done that and selected Zoom meeting and logged in, it will automatically populate the link here, the ID and the password. And whenever I click on join Zoom meeting like I am here, it will redirect me to this page like it normally does. You're probably familiar with this where it says open zoom.us. Basically, that's going to allow it to automatically open the Zoom app. And as you can see right here, waiting for the host to start this meeting. Again, all of that is going to happen automatically when your guests click on the join Zoom meeting. Now, this is a wonderful tool if you are having meetings and like me, if you have podcast guests that you bring on throughout the week, I can just send them this link automatically directly here. They don't have to have Zoom installed. They can just click on this and it will automatically prompt them and take them uh, to where they need to go. It's got some amazing joining instructions here on what you need to do, uh, giving them the meeting ID, the passcode, all of that good information here directly within the calendar event. Uh, and if they're using another calendar uh, besides Google Calendar, it doesn't matter. This link will still show as long as they accept the event, they'll have this link here within Google Calendar. Now, if you wanna know how to use Zoom from start to finish, I got a full user's guide. I'll link that down below as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll talk to you in the next video.